Currently, we are getting the elements in our application using this verbose syntax. While there is nothing wrong with this, it is difficult to write and hard to read. Ideally, we could simplify the syntax to something more like this. This is an example of the custom Cypress command we are going to learn how to create. Get by data is the name of our custom command. The string hero heading is the value of the data test attribute on our element. This is the code for our custom Cypress command. You can see we are giving our command the name get by data. This selector variable contains the value of the data test attribute we are trying to get, which in the previous example was hero heading. So when we use our custom command like so, the string we pass into our command is the value of the data test attribute we are trying to get. This value is then passed into our custom Cypress command, and then the value is inserted into a sci.get, which then gets returned by our command. So when we update our test to use our custom Cypress command like so, under the hood, our command is actually returning the original verbose sci.get with the complicated syntax. Our custom command is what is commonly referred to as syntactic sugar. This means our custom command is not changing any behavior or functionality, it simply makes it easier for us to read and write our tests. Our custom command is a relatively simple example of a custom Cypress command. Later on in the curriculum, we will discuss the custom commands in greater detail with more intricate and complicated examples.